We've got all the details for you today on the Medieval Blacksmith set. I totally was late to the party about this set already coming out. I made a video two days ago like, hey, yo guys, it's been confirmed, but everyone's like, ah, yeah, we know. And I'm like, yeah, I'm a little late to the party. But today, we've got all the details for you, so let's take a look. What's up you guys, my name is Ryan, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi and welcome. I like all things Lego, stop motion animation, behind the scenes, worth it, Lego city stuff, whatever you wanna talk about, I love Lego. But that's not the point about this video. We're gonna be talking about the medieval blacksmith set, castle stuff, oh my gosh, I grew up with Lego castle and knights and everything. I've got over 20 something sets throughout the years of Lego knights and castles. So when I saw this coming out, I got super stoked. I was just hoping, hoping it was gonna be somewhere around the 150 to 200 dollar range that meant it was gonna have hopefully some good minifigures you know good piece count all these different things and I think it delivered all right but let's jump into the photos I'm gonna show you what the set looks like and then I guess ultimately you can decide if it's worth it for you I can tell you right now before we even look at it it's worth it to me and I'm gonna tell you why as we go through it all right guys so I got my handy dandy laptop let's take a look at this set so this is a Lego ideas set it's the medieval blacksmith it is set number 21325 it is 18 plus it's 2164 pieces and if you're a VIP member which you should be you get 975 points which cool I'm always down for that now the price of it is 150 bucks US dollars. So for me, the price to part ratio, pretty dang good. I'm cool with it. Probably just because it's a Lego set. It's not like a licensed like Batman or Harry Potter or anything like that. All right, so let's talk about the minifigures with the set. You're gonna get four of them, which I wish there was another one, but on the contrary, you also get this nice little husky and a horse and whatnot. So you got the blacksmith, cool, love the beard, hair, out, uh, torso, legs, all that looks good. And you got what I'm assuming is his significant other, but who the heck knows? But you got her, she's got the nice crossbow, the bows and all that stuff looks good. And then you got the two knights, which look like a king and queen or something like that maybe. Um, and you got the horse with the carriage. The carriage looks really cool. The horse looks nice. I have tons of horses. Well, when I say tons, I've got probably like 15 horses, brown, black, um, white, all the different colors. So this tan color will be nice because I don't have a tan horse. Um, the knights, I think, look really good. Um, there's nothing really to complain about them. I think they look nice. It's been a long time since we've had Lego castle stuff. So this is super freaking awesome. Okay, first impressions of the outside. I love it. I wish they would have chosen a different blue. I wish they would have done either all dark blue on the roof. I don't love the light blue, like the royal blue that they chose. Um, but regardless, the color contrast, I think really helps the set. So I think it can be a pro and a con. I think it makes it look a little more childish, but at the same time, it gives it nice contrast on the set with the browns and the greens and that blue. So it looks good. I wish they would have just changed the royal colors just a little bit. I may buy pieces on BrickLink and change that out when I get the set. The design of it, it looks really cool, really nice. It doesn't look like it would be that big, but when you really look at the other photos, um, it definitely it definitely helps. You got the cool chimney hanging out on the side. You got that cool husky, I love that right there. But you got the little blacksmith fire, you know, the, the chimney part where he's, you know, welding the swords or whatever you call it. I like the design they did on the tree and there's even this little target practice, you know, little tile piece. That way for the bow and arrow, you can practice on it. That's pretty cool. But if you look at the inside of the set, man, they added so much detail. So like down in the little blacksmith spot, I think they did awesome. All the different um, material that he's working on, all the different, like the shields, the helmets, the shoulder stuff, the swords, you have the little coals, the fire spot, lots of detail. I absolutely love it. And even on the outside of the house, they use tons of different greenery and, and stuff. So it looks, re looks really good. If we go to the main floor, you got the nice little kitchen spot. I think the way they did those chairs was super cool i haven't i personally haven't seen that before so i think that's really cool i like how they even did the little checkered but that's really cool love the way they did the chairs upstairs you've got the bed with the desk the treasure chest and one thing that's really cool is they did that animal rug that was super cool i haven't seen that before and i think they knocked that out of the ballpark that was i opened that up mike that's a cool touch for it being a blacksmith and everything in the forest that that was cool but what's nice too is they made this kind of like modular style so you can just take the different levels off which was super smart super convenient obviously you guys already know lego's really moving into that modular on many more of the sets because it's just so convenient you can just pull it off play in that section if you want or get access to any level it's super nice all right, guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed uh, the breakdown of this set. I think it's awesome. I hope they come out with more sets. I know it's an idea set, so probably not. I would love to see a full line of, you know, knights or castle sets, but we'll get there one day. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.